Good morning and welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. Hi, everyone. I'm Rhonda Lonard. And I'm Chuckalicious, Chuck Williams. And join us this morning from the musical drama Texas, Mr. Stephen Crandall, here to talk about this coming season of excitement out in Paldura Canyon. Uh, welcome, Mr. Crandall. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's uh, the kickoff of uh, the, a new season of Texas. It's always exciting. It's always fun. Uh, it, every year, it seems like you tweak the show just a hair here, or there, or a bit. What, what are we going to see unique this year in the play? Uh, we've done a couple of things. We've we've added a, uh, some some new sort of underscore music uh, for for a couple of characters, uh, specifically Tucker Yeldale and Kate Lucas. Um, we uh, we've added just a, uh, obviously some new choreography. We have a brand new choreographer this season, uh, so all of the movement in the show is is new, um, which is exciting. And uh, and then, of course, just new talent. Uh, lots of, um, of new faces on stage this season, and that just always brings a lot of great uh, new energy and new excitement to the show. This may be hard to believe, but there are some people that have never seen the play Texas. In this yes. area. Who live in here. this area. Yeah. So give us just a, a small rundown of, of basically the, you know, what, what is the play about and why, why would sure. somebody in this area want to attend? Sure. I always like to say this, this show represents people of the panhandle because it tells the story of how um, difficult it was to sort of settle this area and, and, and build towns in the late 1800s. So it really is just kind of a somewhat of a romantic um, story about farmers and uh, cattle ranchers uh, trying to build their lives here in the Panhandle in that period. Um, there is a lot of um, kind of history depicted that is based on uh, people like Charles Goodnight, um, as well as uh, families that were establishing ranch, uh, sorry, farms and homesteads in the area. And it's all kind of woven together, kind of, um, I, I always like to say it, there's a little bit of pageantry in the show because it has pretty grand musical numbers with lots of uh, pretty grand choreography and, and, and kind of sweeping music. But then there's some really great scenes where we get to know these characters and we get to understand what their struggles are. So. Uh, the two characters at the center of the story, uh, one is is based on Charles Goodnight, and the other is a farmer who uh, whose mother died, and he has uh, come back to the Panhandle to try to uh, establish a, a family farm and and make it successful. Now I'm one of those people. Go ahead, Chuck. Go ahead. I'm one of those people that has never seen Texas to know it one way or the other, and it really. When you th think about the main characters, like the Good Knights and the other family, that's mainly what it's about, is it not? It is. It is. I mean, it is about it is about people. I think the story is very centered on these fictitious people that are representative of the the actual people that help build towns like Clarendon and uh, and Old Tascosa and um, you know the Mobiti and all of these sort of very early panhandle towns that then were built up by these people into more uh, recognizable towns today, Dalhart and uh, Wellington and things like that. Uh, I think hopefully next year, I know it's kind of loosely based on the life of Charles Goodnight. I love to see a storyline with Bo Zyker in the play text. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. See a story with that. Now, something new you're doing this year uh, you're going to you're doing some Shakespeare. You're doing a, a couple of comedies. Tell us how that's going to work, and, and uh, what can people expect with the Shakespeare experience? Sure, we we have decided to um, kind of implement a new series that we're calling Shakespeare in the Canyon, and we we have been producing um, Shakespeare productions with this Texas company for over ten years now, and kind of using it as an opportunity for the for these young talented artists to get a chance to kind of um, cut their teeth on some some more material besides Texas. And so it's been a popular experience for those that we've hired in, as the company. And then this season, we're, we're uh, sort of bringing it onto the main stage, so to speak, um, on uh, Tuesdays in July, starting July 9th. 
will be presenting a Midsummer Night's Dream, uh, which is put together and, and performed by members of the Texas Company. Um, we brought in some additional artistic staff to lead that production. And so that's just an opportunity, I think, for perhaps local people in the panhandle that have come out and seen Texas a lot to come out and maybe see something they haven't seen before. And uh, we expect this to be a really family friendly show. Um, we're doing a pre-show, what we call a green show, which is very kind of um, story-based uh, free performance before the, the play, uh, A Midsummer Night's Dream, which is uh, kind of geared towards children. So it should be a lot of fun. All right, you don't want to miss the fun in the canyon. Uh, Texas started June 6th. It'll run through August 3rd. The shows run Tuesday through Sunday night. One of the best things about it, you get the barbecue beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's right, great right, barbecue. <laughs> great barbecue, but you see some great performances, and that's the big deal. And it's about where we live. Get out. I encourage you to see the play Texas. For ticket information, go to texas-show.com. Texas Outdoor Musical is the website you need to find. Uh, Stephen, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate yeah. it. I'm going to have to get out and see some Shakespeare this summer, so I can't wait to do that. So Please do. Good job. All right. Uh, that's once again texas-show.com. Get your tickets and see a part of history here in West Texas. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we've got your latest news headlines and your weather right here on the chat. 